Well, we are digging into Baltimore's crime files tonight for a story that isn't being told. It's a major national story about a group of women shattering the glass ceiling. It's the story of how girl power is the key to solving crime in a city in crisis. Tonight, we return to the front lines to show you how these unsung heroes are using science to make our city safer. Driving the crime crisis in Baltimore City. Thousands of guns are recovered by police every year. It's, it's way too much. And far too often, it's not until after they've been used to commit a violent crime. We, we'd like to see less, but this, you know, that's Baltimore City. Once they're recovered, the water will come on. They're brought here. This is the long range where we shoot larger caliber handguns, firearms, shotguns. To the Baltimore Police Department's Forensics Firearms Lab. Forensic scientist Jennifer Ingridson says first, they're test fired. Some guns we need to compare to cartridge cases or bullets that are recovered from scenes. So we'll come in here, we'll shoot the guns. Like I said, if we don't need bullets to compare to, we'll just get the cartridge cases and we can compare them on the microscope to see if they were fired with that gun or with a different gun. In the range this day. Firearms are pretty cool. <laughs> forensic scientist Zoe Crone. I really just fell in love with it because it's just like solving one big puzzle, right? Crone has always had a passion for forensics. She started on the streets as a crime scene technician before moving to the firearms lab, where she says hundreds of guns come in every month. Polymer 80s, which are the ghost guns. Um, and then in, um, aside from that, Glocks are always very popular. Uh, you got your Smith and Wessons that are very popular, and, and Taurus is also a very popular um, gun brand that we're seeing. The types of guns coming in have changed over the last decade. They think we just shoot guns and watch them go bang. Daniel Lamont says so have the scientists. When I started with the department, at least with the lab, it was very male dominated. Uh, and that has changed over the years, especially in firearms. It's, uh, it's very different compared to what it was just 10 years ago in this unit. Today, the unit is mostly women. I feel, I feel good. It feels uh, empowering to see so many women in, in the field. And they're much more than just girls with guns. It's kind of a misnomer that yeah, that's all you do is shoot guns all day. There is a lot of microscope work that is involved with this, which a lot of people don't think about. Work that involves closely examining bullets and cartridge casings. There are striations and impressions that are left on both cartridge cases and bullets. And those details can help lead to a conviction. You, you're able to well, link crimes together, hopefully bring some closure to the victims of the gun violence in this city and try to <laughs> help close some cases. Well, we have two more stories on the women in the forensics department for you this week. Tomorrow night we take you inside the DNA serology lab.